All right, we can do it. We're in the kitchen. And guess what? You can do it. You can be amazing. Oh, boy. Got and we got their vegan their protein. Vegan protein. Blueberry muffin. And chocolate brownie in the supplement kitchen. Ooh, let's get started. Today we're being amazing. That's right. If you may remember, we tried their pre-workout, which is still probably a 2020 favorite of mine. Top. So, uh, we got their vegan protein in right now. This is, uh, he's showing you the chocolate brownie. Blue Ray Muffin's similar. It's just more like a muffin mix type looking. So like white. Yeah. Nothing special. It does have that very, if you've ever been around a vegan protein, it's got that very, like, smell. almost dirt. Dirt smell. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm not a fan of vegan protein. I'll go ahead and throw that out there. I so. think there has been a couple that have you've tried more than me but decently the few that i've tried i cannot been stand. okay but the mass majority of vegan proteins do taste you've like, got to be into vegan to yeah try. you have to be solely into it so this scoop i'm assuming the scoop should be the same 29 and a half grams is what mine says uh one scoop over here is 34.5 oh, so there is a small difference so in the flavor yeah we'll run down just maybe like the macros real quick so, what does yours have for macros? You gotta do directions first, but oh shit, it's got pictures again. All right, one scoop in the blender bottle, and drink it with straw. Yeah. Now it says mix one scoop with eight ounces of water, fifteen to twenty minutes after your workout. Um, about the product, being vegan protein feeds your body with the best and helps you be amazing without sacrifice. With taste and texture as our top priorities, we discover what makes most vegan protein taste terrible and fixed it. Bean uses natural sources of protein and prebiotic fibers. Change the game with us and enjoy the cleanest and best tasting vegan protein you've ever had. Wow. Cool. All right, so we're going to do a little different today. Oh, disclaimer crap. We're not doctors. So take at your own risk or talk with your doctor before trying supplements. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll do it a little backwards. We'll go through the nutrition facts and we'll try them out since there's not really performance. Um, so mine, I have 100 calories. We got 110 over here. Okay. Total fats at half half a gram. Uh, total fat is over here is one gram with 0.5 coming from saturated fat. So then that's the diff That's one of the difference. No cholesterol. No cholesterol. 300 uh, sodium is at 330 milligrams. 360 over here. Total carbs, three grams, which one from, uh, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I'll just say one gram of fiber, zero sugars, zero added sugars. Yep, so this one has uh, five grams of carbs, two is going to be from fiber, zero from sugar, and zero added sugar. Uh, 20 grams of protein. 20 grams of protein here as well. And then you got your normal uh, vitamin D, yeah. calcium, iron, potassium. Yeah, so there's a small, di I mean, it's not nothing major. No. I mean, just a few little macros there. Yeah, if you're kind of, you know, curious about what this stuff is made up of, if I miss anything. Clean cream. Um, I don't know what that means. Sorry, that's underneath mine. But there's pea protein, mung bean protein, coca powder, pumpkin seed protein, natural flavors, trace minerals. Clean cream. Let's get into the flavors. <laughs> All right. So flavors. I got blueberry muffin here. And Chocolate brownie. Oh god, it smells like. This one doesn't smell. This has like the dirt, but like it's like you chopped up blueberries and threw it in your, your mud pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like coffee. Yeah, it's like a coffee. It's like a mocha, like a mocha yeah -esque. brownie. I didn't, sm I didn't smell that one before. More like a, like a coca, yeah. This one you do get. I mean, you get like a, you get the blueberry. It's like a blueberry muffin, yeah. Yeah, but it's like you put dirt in it. Yeah. All right, let's just. Flavor. 
So first mixability, uh, vegan protein is always going to be harder to mix. So it's not going to be as creamy um, as your whey, whey or, or whatever. Casein, you, yeah. yeah. So just keep that in mind. Um, so mixability for a vegan, I would say it's top notch though. Yeah, for a vegan protein, I would say this is yeah. Because most vegan proteins, you get like that, like a ton of dirt. Like you, grit yeah, you in literally your mouth. get like a grit, and sometimes you get like little bits of stuff. This and... isn't that bad. You get a little bit, but it's not as bad as other. Ones. Not nearly. So, all right, flavor. Let's talk about chocolate. Um, I would say, right. yeah, it tastes like like a um, chocolate batter. I wouldn't necessarily say like brownie, um, but I would say like a chocolate pancake, chocolate waffle type mix. Um, is kind of what I'm getting out of it. Yeah, I, yeah, it's some type of like, like batter, like you said. I mean, it could be brownie, but I think with like the vegan side, it adds like a hint, like it reminds me of like cocoa, like yeah. not cocoa, but coffee beans in sort of a way, like yeah. a mocha esque. Yeah, it does um, have a little bit of that, like, and that might be the to try and cover up that, that back end dirt. Kind of taste. Yeah, it could be. Because most chocolates, you, you taste a little chocolate with vegan. Yeah. But then at the end, it, it is literally like, like you licked, licked the fucking ground. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so blueberry muffin. That one actually is pretty spot on. I'm thoroughly impressed. I've had a couple oh, of like good. blueberry muffin proteins, and this one ranks right up there with your ways. As far as vegan flavors go, this is probably the best vegan flavor yeah. I have ever had. Um, this I is, can safely say that. Yeah. I, I think this beats some actual regular protein flavors as well. Mm -hmm. um, they nailed that, um, but it's super good. It, like you, I think it's just like you literally mix blueberry muffin mix and you like eat it. That's the yeah. best way to describe it. Yeah, it, it has a very similar texture. Like you can see the side of this glass is very uh, like messed up. Really yeah, good. chalky. Um, and so that's kind of giving you an idea, but honestly, it, I think for the flavors that they've selected, it almost kind of adds a little bit to it. Yeah, it's super good. They did a great If you had maybe just called this blueberry cream and chocolate, Shit. then, you know, but with the flavors that they've listed here, it kind of gives you a little bit more of that mindset that they were aiming for. Boom. So good job on the flavors. So great let's, job. And performance, it is what it is. It's a protein. Yep. Who cares? Ratings. Mixability. Um, I would say as if you're comparing it to like a whey. Oh, I don't want Probably like, excuse me, a seven. But if you're comparing this to other vegan proteins, I would say no problem giving this a ten. Yeah, a ten. This is hands putting down it in the, the category that it is in is ten. Yeah. Flavors. Um. Again, if you're comparing this to ways and casings, I would say probably like eight, uh, eight and a half. But for vegan, ten. This is hands down the yeah. best vegan flavor, or the vegan. Putting it in the vegan category, it's ten for me yeah. too. Yeah, I like mean, I there's said, nothing that even comes. I don't have to pinch my nose like most other ones. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, per performance, uh, comparing macros. I mean, it, it's right on par with most yeah. stuff that I remember. Yeah, um, it's going to be very similar to most um, so it's of your whey blends. Check the box. I mean, it is what it is. Actually, it's probably closer to like a whey isolate or casein blend than a traditional whey. Yeah. Overall? Uh, overall, if you're comparing this oranges to apples, eight and a half. But if you're going apples to apples, buddy, it's a ten. This still, yeah, I think it can go head to head with normal protein, but mm -hmm. if I mean just for the vegan category, it's a ten. It's a yeah, ten, yeah, dude. So first of all, being well, I want to thank them for getting it over. I'll tag them up here. Great, this is the second product we've had from them. Their pre workout is, like I said, one of my top favorite flavors, at least in the mango lime of twenty twenty. And now, this is probably the best vegan protein I've had to date, mm -hmm. um, flavor wise, mixability wise, whatever. Their flavoring system is on point. They're doing great. That's all I got. Amazing. So, uh, be sure to head over to Follow them, check them out. Grab you some of this, grab you some of that. But I'm done. I'm good. Deuces.